Now Kathak has this Sufi version, the Ghazal version, the Mughal inspired one, as well as the temple inspiration, which is where the Krishna Gopi part comes in. And therefore, it's very syncretic in nature. There is this whole Hindu Muslim confluence. And similarly, in textiles, almost all the clusters that we work with, I see that the Hindu and the Muslim communities really work in tandem. We have specific gharanas in Kathak, which are being practiced. But I think also today the confluence has happened between them because of the communication and the ease of uh, travel and now you pick up the best from everything or what appeals to you, right? Like, so you bring a mix. So actually again in the design vocabulary of different weaves, there are certain colours which are prevalent and there are, in fact, uh, like the Jamdani which you are wearing, there is a very classical Shwetambari, Pitambari, Raktambari, Nilambari, so these are like defined colours where you get the white and the red and the blue and the yellow. Anything steady in right. rhythm is is something that can put you in a state of higher being. Now whether it is the sound of the moon, whether it is the sound of the theka we have in Kathak, you know everything, not just Kathak, all of our um, musical forms, dance forms, there is a base of rhythm. Someone holds you steady and then everyone else is free to fly.